السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Dear future leaders from all around the country, our great country, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, welcome to your English class. Also, I would like to welcome Mr. Fawaz Al Aqil. He's going to be our sign language interpreter. With that being said, I think we're so ready to start our new lesson. It's first intermediate grade, first semester. Our subject is English. Our lesson of today is going to be listening, uh, listen and discuss plus pair work. This is my name is Khurud Saud. As usual, it's my pleasure to have you in my class. Before we start, let's have online classroom rules. Number one, find a, a quiet study area and be ready. Make sure you have everything around your book, pen, pencil, and maybe someone to talk to. Number two, avoid distractions like TV, food, or any other online resources. Number three, keep strong and positive. Are you ready? Good. Okay, let's start. So, in our lesson today, we will start a new unit around the word, unit four. As I told you, we have eight units in the book. Each unit was, will have will has its own theme. And within that theme, we are going to learn the four English core skills, reading, listening, writing and speaking and more like pronunciation okay so our unit today is going to be around the world unit four around the world page 26 27 open your book listen and discuss plus pair work listen objectives learners will be able to recognize the names of countries nationalities and capitals what does countries, nationalities, capitals mean? Do you remember? We mentioned some of them in the previous unit. How about the second one? We, differ we will be able to differentiate between the names of countries, nationality, and capitals. Okay. Also, we'll be able to ask and answer questions about countries, nationalities, and capitals. Look at this picture in your book. What do you see? What place is in the photo? Can you tell? Try to figure it out. And who are the people in the picture? There is a big crowd of people. What are they doing? Try to think, my thinkers. And you could maybe ask your parents if they're around. Ask them, what do you see? It seems it's a famous city in the world. Probably start with the letter N, I guess. And there is a, a man holding a microphone, so it seems he is a reporter, maybe. And he is doing interviews with random people in the street. Let's look and see what's the purpose of that interview. I will leave you now with the audio. It's a good idea to close your book and tr to try to focus with the audio, okay? This is Dan Ramirez in Times Square, with people from all around the world. So did you see that? This is Dan Ramirez, probably his name, in Times Square. It seems it's a name of place, or maybe a street. It starts with capital letter, with people from all around the world. This is the, our, our unit title. Okay. Are you excited to see what is he going to do the interview about? Let's listen to this one more time. This is Dan Ramirez in Times Square with people from all around the world. Look at the next picture right here. He's interviewing a man in the street, random or maybe a stranger. What do you think the conversation is going to be about? They're standing in the street it's called Times Square. It's a famous area and street in New York City, in the United States. And usually, most of the tourists around the world go and visit. So it's a very famous place. Let's listen and see what was the interview about. Hello. Are you a tourist? No, I'm here on business. And where are you from? I'm from Shanghai, China. 
Alright, how was that? So the reporter was asking, hello, are you a tourist? What does a tourist mean? A tourist mean, remember when we took a tour in a museum? Tour, that means you go around the place to discover new things. Tourists are people who travel around the world. Probably one day you can travel either to Abha or Jeddah. You're a tourist, okay? If you go visit a new place to have fun and enjoy your time. He said, no, I'm not. I'm here on business. So this is the purpose of his traveling. He's not going, he's not a tourist. He's going for business, okay? Probably a work. The reporter asked, and where are you from? Which country? Where are you from? Which place? He said, I'm from Shanghai, China. Okay, specific city, start with the capital letter. Also, China is a name of a country, okay? I'm gonna play this audio for you one more time. Hello, are you a tourist? No, I'm here on business. And where are you from? I'm from Shanghai, China. Alright, how was that? Okay, let's go to the next part of the conversation. Now more people are added to the interview. Probably he finished with the first man. He went to talk to other people in the street in Times Square in New York. Let's listen and see what is the conversation is about. Here are John and Paul, so you're English. Are you from London? No, we aren't. Actually, we're from Liverpool. Welcome to New York City. So, it seems the tourists in New York City are coming from all around the world. Dif different nationalities, countries, backgrounds. The first man in the first conversation was from China. Look at those two men here. Here are John and Paul. The, the, these are their names. So, you are English. Are you from London? He was guessing. They replied, no, we're not. Actually, we are from Liverpool. Did you ever hear of that place or the country or a city? What do you think? We're about to discover that in our lesson. He replied, welcome to New York City. This is a nice way to uh, reply for uh, people that you meet for the first time. Okay, let's listen to the conversation for the second time. Here are John and Paul, so you're English. Are you from London? No, we aren't. Actually, we're from Liverpool. Welcome to New York City. All right. It seems the reporter talked to another person in the picture. Let's see. The first man was from China. The second two people were from Liverpool. How about the third one? Let's listen and see, okay? Here is Tom Lennon. He's from Australia. Say hi to our viewers. Hi, everyone. I am here in New York. Can you believe it? The reporter started by, here is Tom Lennon. It seems he is very well known for the reporter, so he already know his, knows know his name. He is from Australia, a name of country. Say hi to our viewers. The guy replied, hi everyone, I am here in New York. Can you believe it? Okay, let's listen to this one more time. Here is Tom Lennon. He's from Australia. Say hi to our viewers. Hi everyone. I am here in New York. Can you believe it? Alrighty, so the first country was China, then Liverpool, then, okay, then um, Australia. Let's now have the quick check on our comprehension. Letter P, comprehension, answer yes or no. Number one, Dan is in New York. Close your book and try to refresh your memory. Dan is in New York. Is it yes or no? What do you think? Good job. Yes, it's a true. 
answer, the conversation took place in New York City. Second one, Tom isn't Australian. What do you think? Tom isn't Australian. No, actually Tom is Australian. Remember when the reporter introduced him. Number three, the English tourists aren't from London. Do you remember when he was asking them, are you from London? What did they reply? Yes, correct answer. Number four, the man from China is on vacation. Remember what was the purpose of his traveling? He mentioned that. It was for business, so it wasn't a vacation. So the answer would be no. Take a moment, double check your answers, okay? Let's now go to the next part of our lesson, vocabulary. What country and nationality names do you use often? Circle them, add any other to the chart. Look at the chart. And if you already know names of any country or nationality or capital, circle that. Take a moment. If you know maybe friends from that country or relatives or maybe your classmate, if they're from one of those countries, circle the name of the country and the nationality and the capital. What is our country name? What's our country name? It's Saudi Arabia, right? The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. What's our nationality? We are Saudis, right? I'm Saudi. What's our capital city in Saudi Arabia? Capital city means the main city in the country. So what's our capital city? It's Riyadh, good job, okay? So let's start. We're about to listen, okay? And then we can discuss the names of countries, nationalities, and their capitals, okay? Brazil, Brazilian, Brasilia, Canada, Canadian, Ottawa, Egypt, Egyptian, Cairo, Jordan, Jordanian, Amman, Russia, Russian, Moscow. How was that? I'm sure my knowledgeable girls and boys, you know most of them from your information. Brazil is the name of country and its nationality. If, if, if you meet people from Brazil, you call them Brazilian. And their capital city is Brasilia. This is where you can go to the airport there in the country if you're visiting from abroad. The name here of a country, Canada, if you meet a person who's coming from Canada, what do you call them? They are Canadian, right? And their capital is Ottawa. The name of the country is Egypt. It's an Arab country. If you meet a person coming from Egypt, what do you call them? Egyptian, good job. And the capital city of Egypt called Cairo, good job. The name of country here is Jordan. If you meet a person coming from Jordan, you call them Jordanian. And their capital city is Amman. The country name here, Russia. If you meet a person coming from Russia, what do you call them? Russian. There is a slight difference in the spelling, as you can notice. Start uh, end with I-A-N. Not usually, but most of the time. And the capital city is Moscow. Okay, so it's a good idea, my knowledgeable boys and girls, to practice the spelling and try to memorize them. Let's go to the next part of our country's national and capital names. Look at the chart here. How many, test your knowledge, how many countries, nationalities, capitals that you are able to recognize? Circle them or maybe put check next to. Ask your maybe brothers, sisters, dad or mom, ask them. They can help you, okay? And now listen to the names of countries, nationality and capital. Let's listen. Syria, Syrian, Damascus, England, English, London, Spain, Spanish, Madrid, Mexico, Mexican, Mexico City. How was that? Okay, so 
the name of country called Syria. Their nationality is Syrian. If you meet a person coming from Syria, you call them Syrian. And their capital city called Damascus. England is the name of country. It's a place. People who live there are English people. And their capital city is London. It's a famous city. Spain is the name of country. People who live in Spain called Spanish. And their capital city is Madrid. Mexico is a name of country. People who live in Mexico called Mexican. And their capital city is Mexico City. This is very simple, right? Isn't it? Okay, so try to look, to look and remember as much as you can from those name of countries, nationalities, and capitals. Okay, this will add to you more to your knowledge. Let's look at the third part of the chart. Try to look, scan it, and circle as much as you can, or maybe put check for words or names that you already know. I'm sure you know most of them, inshallah. Okay, so the name of the country right here, nationality and capital. Let's listen. Okay, I'll leave you now with the audio. United States, American, Washington, D.C., Venezuela, Venezuelan, Caracas, Saudi Arabia, Saudi, Riyadh, Oman, Omani, Muscat, China, Chinese, Beijing. How was that? Okay, so the name of the country called United States. People who live in the United States called American. And their capital city is Washington, D.C. A name of country called Venezuela. People who live in Venezuela called Venezuelan. And their capital city, Caracas. Our, name, our country name is Saudi Arabia. We are Saudi. Okay, we are Saudis. I'm Saudi. And our capital, capital city is Riyadh. Oman is a name of country, people who lives in Oman called Omani, and their capital city called Muscat. China is a name of country, their nationality is Chinese, their capital city is Beijing. Okay, how was that? Okay, let's go to the last country, nationality, and capital. Let's listen to this. France, French, Paris. French, Paris. Okay. France is a name of country. People who live in France called French, and their capital city is Paris. Now I want you to go around the house, or maybe you can ask your friends, test your knowledge. How many others name of countries and nationalities and capitals can you find? Write them down in the chart, okay? Let's go to ask and answer pair work. Number one, is Dan from New York? Yes, he is or no, he isn't, okay? It's a good idea to practice this with a partner. This would be so much fun. And you can choose whatever answer you would like to. Where is Tom from? Asking about their country. He is from Australia. Is it nationality? No, it's a name of country. What is his nationality? He is Chinese. Okay, so he lives in Australia, but his nationality is Chinese. Okay, did you see that? So it's a good idea to go and practice that with a partner. Ask and answer about yourself. Where are you from? What's your nationality? And what's the capital of your country? So we already know the name of countries, nationalities, and capitals. Now we know how to ask about them. Where are you from? Which country? What is your nationality? And what is the capital of your country? This is our Saudi flag. Where are you from? I'm from Saudi Arabia. What's your nationality? I am Saudi. What's the capital of your country? I can hear you. 
Riyadh is the capital of Saudi Arabia, okay? So take a moment, make sure you write this down in your book. Let's open your workbook, page 101, letter A. Read the clues and complete the word for each country or nationality. Look at number one. A person that is from Jordan is called, what do you think? Start with J, Jordan. Good job, Jordanian, okay? Good job. So this is the name of the country, this is the nationality. Number two, Paris is the capital of this country. Remember, Paris is the capital city of France. Good job, good job. Three, Moscow is in this country. Test your knowledge, test your memory. Moscow is the, which country? Good job, Russia, good job. Number four, a person that is from the United States called what? United States American, good job. Okay. Five, Ottawa is the capital of this country. Which country? It's fine to go back and open your book. Try to find it out. Good job, Canada, okay? So take a moment, make sure you have the correct spelling so jordan jordanian paris the country of it france moscow russia united states america ottawa canada let's go to letter a read the clues and complete the word for each country let's go to number six Beijing is in this country it was mentioned in the conversation do you remember? Good job, China, okay? So it's the, it's the in China. Number seven, a person from England is, what's his nationality or her nationality? If they live in England, they are? Good job, English. Number eight, Athens is in this country. That, th that was not mentioned in the book, but test your knowledge. Athens, it's in Greece, good job. Okay, Caracas is the capital of this country. Which country? Good job, Venezuela, okay. Number 10, Cairo is in this country. Cairo is the capital city of Egypt. Good job. Double check your answers, take a moment, make sure you got the correct spelling. Okay, so go to letter B, fill in each plank with the correct word from the box. We have Brazilian, Saudi, England, Australia, Egypt, Egy Egyptian, and Omani. Different names of countries and nationalities. Number one, I am, I'm from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. What's my nationality? I am Saudi, good job, okay? Number two, Ali isn't Syrian, he's not Syrian. He is, he lives in Muscat. Muscat is the capital city of which country? Good job, Omani, he's Omani. He's, he lives in Oman, but his nationality is Omani, okay? Number three, Saeed is on business in London. He is in right now. What do you think? He is in England right now, okay? London is the capital city of England. Karen is English, but she lives in Sydney. Sydney is a city in which country? Australia, okay. Good job. Number five, I'm from Brazil. My nationality is, this is quite simple. You can add just the Brazilian, okay. Good job. Aisha is from Egypt. She is the name of the country, Egypt. What's the nationality? You can find it here, very quick. Egyptian, good job, good job. Okay, double check your answers. Make sure you got the correct spelling. Good job, okay? So in today's lesson, we learn different names of countries and nationalities and their capitals. We add more knowledge to our information. With that being said, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and learned something. 
Thank you so much. See you next class. Bye-bye for now.